Hey folks, Ben with The Real Seal here, and today we're going to be talking about what happens when a contractor leaves you a quote. Obviously, homes are big things. They always have a lot of projects that we need to get done, so this kind of goes across the board. If a contractor comes and quotes you on something, the biggest thing, make sure that contract is meeting your needs. Go through each and every single line item, see what they are quoting, and specifically how the work is going to be done. Make sure you read all of the fine print, all of the warranties associated with it, so that way you understand everything that goes into the work that needs to be done, and then you understand all the issues that can happen further on down the road and whether or not you will be covered. When you do receive an estimate with, from a contractor that you decide to move forward with, it's always important to check the terms and conditions and see what the time limit on that contract is. Sometimes they only are good for a certain period of time, and if you don't sign it within that time window, then they are going to have to update it if you're beyond that point. Some of the things that can affect that are changes in prices, uh, changes in the terms and conditions or changes in the company policy and every company tends to have a different window for how long their contracts are good for so it's very important that you get that information. So with these contracts there may be a permit that may be required to do the work. Typically when these contracts are written that permit price is not included in the contract because a lot of times the contractor does not know what that permit price is going to be until they actually pull the permit. However that should still be an itemized line item on there and something that you should expect on that contract when you sign it that those permit costs will apply. Sometimes unexpected things come up when a contractor is doing some work. If something is hidden behind a wall or underneath the floor, they might not be able to see it when they were originally quoted. At this point, the contractor will do what's called a change of work order. Well, they will bring it to you, let you know, hey, this is the work that needs to be done now that we can see it, and then they'll have you sign off on it. And then from there, they can go ahead and proceed and get the work done. Every contractor does have a specific way that they get these jobs on the schedule. So that is definitely something you want to reach out to them and figure out what the process is in order to get this work done. Don't forget your consumer rights. That's something that's included with every contract here in Illinois. That lets you know what you can and can't do as a consumer, which is very important when you're doing any of these projects. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call at The Real Seal, where not everything's better when wet.